Hey there everybody, this is 22TigerDude here and welcome to my reaction to the Oscar nominations. This is the first time I'm actually doing something like this. I've never done a reaction to Oscar nominations. I've maybe done discussions on the nominations, but I have never actually reacted to it. And I figured um, since I originally was gonna wake up uh, in my time, they announced these nominations at 6 a.m. Uh, I was going to do that, but I was too lazy to get up. And so I figured now that I am up, um, I can finally just go ahead and react to it. I literally know nothing about the nominations. Uh, as I'm recording this, I didn't bother checking Facebook, Twitter, you know, the actual Oscars website for the nominations. No, I just want to watch uh, this video and um, just see the nominations unfold. The only one I know is Best Animated Feature, and that's because I saw that category on Instagram. Besides that, I have no idea about the rest of the categories and what's going to be nominated or anything like that. <clears throat> Let's do this. for achievement in production design. Beauty and the Beast. Blade Runner 2049. Darkest Hour. Dunkirk. And The Shape of Water. Nice. Very good category, I have to say. Very good category. Cinematography. For achievement in cinematography, Blade Runner, 2000. Yes! Yes! Dark oh my Dark god, Dark. I want to see that movie get cinematography at least. Alright, nice. Happy to see Dunkirk on there, Shape of Water too. I still have to see Mudbound, but the cinematography looks great, though, from the trailer I've watched. For achievement in costume design, Beauty and the Beast. Nice. Darkest Hour. Yeah, I had good costume design. Phantom Thread, nice. Shape of Water, cool. Nice. I still have to see that movie, actually. Sound editing, all right. Baby Driver. Nice. Blade Runner 2049. Yeah. Dunkirk. Ooh, nice, yeah. The Shape of Water. Nice. And Star Wars The Last Jedi. All right. All right. <laughs> very good, very, very good. Really like this a lot, actually. And for achievement in sound mixing. All right. Baby Driver. Nice. Blade Runner 2049. Ooh. Dunkirk. Ooh, yeah. The Shape of Water. Cool. And Star Wars The Last Jedi. Oh, so it's about the same. Okay. That's very cool, though. That's very, very cool. I gotta see this Dunkirk. It seems like a lot of people like it. Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars The Last Jedi could do with a bit of a hand as well. Right? I know, yeah. We gotta watch both of those. Let's keep up the pace. <laughs> Only one I've heard of is Lou. Very quick, I actually forgot to review Lou uh, when I reviewed Cars 3, because Lou showed before Cars 3. Um, I completely forgot to review that short film, but if I were to give you guys my quick thoughts on that, I thought it was a very solid short film. I thought it was just very nice. I really did enjoy that one. I'd say it's like a solid B. 
I, I thought that was a really good one. So, yeah, I'm happy to see that one got nominated. And now, here are the nominees for Best Live Action Short Film. <laughs> Haven't heard of any of these. But I'm sure they're really good, though. The last category proves that length doesn't matter. Mm. And now it's time for our <laughs> next category. Nice. I have to hear the score for that one. Chip Water, nice. That was a great score. Ooh, nice. And three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. That was a great score too. For achievement in visual effects. Blade Runner 2049. Yes! Oh yeah. Ooh, yes, yes. Kong Skull Island. Island, nice. Star Wars, the Last Jedi. Awesome. And War for the Planet of the Yes, yes. Okay, I love this. I, I, I love this. I love, I love this. I love this. I love this category. Without the master of their craft, without the masters of their craft in this category, the average movie would be like eighteen hours long. For achievement in film editing. Film editing, all right. Baby Driver. Oh, nice. Dunkirk. Awesome. I, Tanya. Still have to see that film. The Shape of Water. Nice. And three billboards outside Evan, Missouri. All right. Nice. <laughs> and now, the final category in the first half of this morning's announcements. <clears throat> for achievement in makeup and hairstyle. All right, let's see. Darkest hour. Okay, I expected that. Okay. And okay, nice. And wonder. Oh, wonder. Okay, nice. Awesome. Nice to see that movie get something. We still have more nominee announcements, but we'll be we'll be back in a moment. Mm. A one minute and a half break. <laughs> what a great morning. Here we are, the nominees for performance by actors <clears throat> in supporting role. All right, supporting actors. Still have to see Mudbound. Alison Janney in I, Tanya. Oh, nice. Like I said, still got to see I, Tanya. Leslie Manville in Phantom Thread. Phantom Thread, still need to see two. She was really good. She she was really good in the movie. Ooh, nice, nice. She was she was really great in Shape of Water. Nice, awesome. All right, nice. So I got to see Floor Project though. Woody Harrelson, he was awesome in Three Billboards. <laughs> Richard, Jenkins in the Shape of Water. Richard Jenkins, he was really great in Shape of Water. Christopher Plummer in Alright, Christopher Plummer. I haven't seen All the Money in the World, but I already know he's a great actor. Alright. Nice. He was awesome in three billboards as well. For best foreign language film. All right, cool. The only one I've heard of is The Square from Sweden. For best documentary short subject, Edith and Eddie. <laughs> Heaven is a traffic jam on the 405. Heroin. Life skills. And traffic. I think I've heard of traffic stop. Make a woman from an urban area very uncomfortable. No, I'm totally up with you. The best documentary feature. Abacus, small enough to jail. I'm actually glad they paired Andy Circus and Tiffany Haddish to announce these. 
um, categories. You know, nominees for these categories. Strong Island. Don't think. Okay, Akiras, I think. I, I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that, by the way, but I think that's the only one I've heard of. Okay, original song. Nice. Have to hear that song. All right, love that song. Have to hear that song. All right, love that song. Love that song. Even though I thought the greatest song was just okay. The Mudbound song I need to listen to too. Okay, anime feature. I already know the nominees. I already know the nominees for this one. Breadwinner, still got to see. Obviously, I love Coco. Ferdinand, I really liked. Uh, Hated Boss Baby and Loving Vincent, I still have to see. So, but overall, really great category. Uh, really great um, nominees for this category. All right. Still got to see Call Me By Your Name. Yeah. Love that movie. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Molly's game. Aaron Sorkin. Yes. And Mudbound. Virgil Williams and D Reese. Awesome. Like I said, still have to see that movie, but I'm pretty sure the screenplay is great. Our original. The big sink. Emily Vigo, Emily yes. Vigo, yes. 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 Jordan Peele. All right. Nice. Nice. Ladybird. Greta Gerwig. All right. Cool. 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 Del Toro. Awesome. Awesome. And three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Martin Which was expected, but of course, awesome. Great, great category. This is great. Lo love the category for original screenplay. I mean, that was expected. Like, it's Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> awesome. 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 Of course, that was a no-brainer, Gary Oldman. Denzel Washington. I never got to see Roman J. Israel Esquire. I still got to catch that one eventually. Awesome. She was great in the Shape of Water. Awesome. Really awesome in three billboards. Nice, awesome, awesome. Ronan, nice, awesome. I'm saying awesome a lot. Uh, Meryl Streep. Uh, of course, of course. Hmm. Not that I have anything against Meryl Streep. Just the fact she gets nominated a lot gets pretty annoying. Oh, awesome. Okay. Cool. All right. Nice. Congrats, Jordan Peele. Nice. All right. Yeah. She did do a very good job directing the film. Louis Anderson. All right. Cool. 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 Congrats, Anderson. All right. Nice job, Guillermo. Nice. Very, very nice. You want to do the big one for the big for the best picture? Well, I think you should both do it. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> you don't know me that well. <laughs> you don't know me at all. And finally, here are the nine final. Here are the nine films selected as best. 
Okay, before they say best picture, um, I did a prediction on who would get nominated for best picture. Let me go ahead and pull it up very quick. I'm predicting that uh, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri is going to get it. The Florida Project, Dunkirk, Call Me By Your Name, The Shape of Water, Lady Bird, Darkest Hour, The Post. If they decide to throw in a ninth nominee, Molly's Game. And if they decide to throw a tenth nominee, I'm going to say I, Tanya. All right, let's see if I get um, at least most of them right. Okay, predicted that. <laughs> Darkest Hour, predicted that, predicted that. Awesome. Predicted that. Okay, really good. Nice. Really happy about that. Nice. Did not think that was going to get a Best Picture nomination, though. So, yeah, that one I got wrong. But that's awesome that Get Out got a Best Picture nomination. All right. Lady Bird I got right. All right. Nice. All right, Phantom Thread I got wrong. Uh, I did not think that was going to get a Best Picture nomination, honestly. But like I said, I still got to see that one, though. The Post predicted that one. I'm going to see that movie later today, by the way. Um, so I hope I enjoy that one, at least. Shape of Water predicted. Predicted that. Awesome. All right, then three billboards. I know three billboards has to be coming. There you go. Billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, so they're going with the nine, like last year. Okay, cool. Predicted most of them right at least, but there were some that, yeah, I didn't get right. All right. Good job, Andy Serkis and Tiffany Haddish. Good job. Good job. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I have to say that the categories have been very interesting. Um, uh, just to start off with Best Picture, um, as I'm looking through them, uh, Phantom Thread, The Post, which like I said, I am actually seeing later today. Um, as of January 23rd, I am seeing The Post on this day. Um, so I'm seeing that one pretty soon. And then there's Call Me By Your Name. So um, really, after I see the post technically today, it's just Phantom Thread I need to see and Call Me By Your Name. Um, I did see Darkest Hour along with the other Best Picture nominee, uh, The Shape of Water, on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, actually. Um, Darkest Hour was okay to me. Um, I'll go in more details whenever I find time to do a review for that one. But yeah, I just thought it was okay. Dunkirk, I am I'm, I'm very happy about. I really like that film. I do want to re-watch it before I do my video review because I have not done a video review for it yet. But um, since I do own the movie, I'd actually like to re-watch it before I do a video review so I can finally get it out because I have been wanting to talk about that movie for a very long time. But I will just tell you, um, for my first time viewing, I really like Dunkirk. Um, very impressive film. Get Out, I also did really like that one too. I think that was a solid feature. I still need to rewatch that one. I do own that film. Uh, got it on Black Friday. Haven't gotten the chance to rewatch it yet, but 
for my first time viewing, I did really like it. That was really solid. Lady Bird was pretty good too. I did actually like Lady Bird more than I expected. Phantom Thread, like I said, I still need to see. The Post, I have to see. Shape of Water, I absolutely love. That was such um, a beautiful movie. And then Three Billboards, uh, that, that was a great movie too. I have to definitely get around to reviewing that one. Really glad that Blade Runner 2049 got some recognition at least. I knew it wasn't going to get Best Picture or anything. But I was really happy to see that it got cinematography, visual effects, production design. Because of production design that film, oh my god. Oh man, that really blew me away. Really happy to see Beauty and the Beast getting uh, certain nominations too. I know not everyone in the world is like exactly happy with the live action remake and that's perfectly cool if you didn't like that one, but I personally did love it. And as I've said a lot of times, I love that remake almost as much as I love the animated film. The animated film is obviously still the better film, but that remake honestly was so good and captured the magic so well, in my opinion, that it was honestly close to being as good as the animated film. Get Out, I'm very happy to see getting um, a lot of love actually, because you know, when it comes to the Oscars, they normally go for movies that release around like mainly November, December. Uh, so the fact that Get Out, a movie that came out in February, let's think about this, February is actually getting love and actually got a Best Picture nomination uh, is really cool. I didn't expect to get a Best Picture nomination, but the fact that it did does make me happy because like I said, I personally did like that film a lot. Dunkirk, I'm very happy to see gain a lot of love too. Considering that Christopher Nolan normally gets snubs, uh, normally gets snubbed for his movies, so I'm very happy to see Christopher Nolan finally gain some uh, Academy love. Very happy for Dunkirk, and considering, like I said, that movie came out in July, uh, it's nice to see it gain like Best Picture and then Christopher Nolan gain Best Director. So I'm honestly really happy about Dunkirk. Baby Driver, I know the one thing everyone was hoping Baby Driver would get is at least get the editing category. And I'm happy to see that Baby Driver actually got, you know, not just editing, but sound editing and sound mixing. So that's cool to see Baby Driver getting that. Obviously, as far as visual effects go, I'm really happy to see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 getting it because the visuals in that film were truly great. Uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi, uh, really happy to see that. Console Island, really happy to see that. Yes, it had its moments where it was noticeable in visuals, but as a whole, I am very happy to see that one got nominated. And of course, um, Blade Runner 249, which I already discussed. War for Planet Apes, yes, yes, yes. Because the visuals are honestly some of the best visuals I've ever seen in my life. Um, uh, so I'm very happy to see that one get attention. Disaster Artist, I'm happy to see get at least adapted screenplay. Um, Logan, too. Um, Logan, I am so happy. I know people... We're hoping it would get a Best Picture nomination, and I could already hear a lot of people being disappointed in that. But honestly, the fact that Logan at least got adapted screenplay really is so great to see. I'm very happy about that. Of course, Molly's Game, which I loved. I'm glad to see that got adapted screenplay. The Big Sick, which you guys all know, is like one of the... Five. I've given five movies four out of four stars from 2017 so far. Um, so the fact that The Big Sick, uh, one of the films that I absolutely, absolutely love, actually got original screenplay does make me happy. And of course, the other categories, um, the other nominees in this category, I am very pleased with. Um, so, yes, obviously, there's going to be your snubs. It is kind of unfortunate that Franco didn't get Best Actor. Um, you know, for Disaster Artist. But yeah, like I said, at least Disaster Artist got adapted screenplay. I'm very happy about that. Obviously, every year you're always going to have your snub. But I'd say really overall, looking at these categories, I can't really complain. Some of these movies I obviously still need to see. But overall, I am actually pretty pleased with what I see here. Like, <clears throat> 
even for movies. I'm not really a fan of like Darkest Hour, for example. You know, that's good that it is gaining attention. So everyone, um, thank you so much for watching this. Comment down below and let me know um, what are your snubs for this year's Oscars. Um, is there a certain movie you're disappointed didn't get Best Picture or um, Adapted Screenplay? Like, what were some movies you were hoping to see get nominated, but they just didn't uh, quite make it? Um, just uh, let me know um, anything you're angry about, anything you're very happy to see. Um, let me know in the comments down below, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.